That's a, that's a bigger fish. Look at him. Oh. Oh. Nice. That's a good one, huh? Well, oh, I got two. You got two. Hey, that's the way to do it. That our schools a big five to ten pound fish on this lake. And what you need to do is come on down to Lake Okeechobee <laughs> in the summertime. He is the current record holder with nine BASS Angler of the Year awards, has 19 BASS tournament wins, and qualified for the Bassmasters Classic 25 times. You got him kind of funny. Look, he threw up a little minnow. Look at them little minnows. Look at the little them. minnows. Look at the little minnows. Well, folks, we're fishing with another legend, the crankbait legend himself, Mike McClellan. And Mike, look at the oh, look at that. Them. Look at that. Well, all kind of little shad in there. Yeah. Look at there's another shad. There's little bitty minnows like that. It's gorgeous. But Mike is this premier jerkbait fisherman, and he's going to explain a little bit today on, on how we do it. But you might recognize Mike. Mike and I got together, what, uh, two years ago? Two years ago. And went up to Lake Lanier, and we caught five-pound spotted bass. We caught all kind of big fish. But that's a, that's a way to start. But anyway, that's a new plug. Mike's going to tell you all about the new 115 Spro. Hey, but let's, let's catch a couple let's more fish, Mike. Bass Pro Shops presents Fishing with Roland Martin. Brought to you by Tracker Boats. Fish the finest. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, designed by fishermen for fishermen. Timbuktu, Fisher's Choice, real bait ready when you are. And by Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Closed caption provided by Spro Lures. Bass Pro Shops is a proud sponsor of Fishing with Roland Martin. Got one? Yes, sir. What you got, son? I hope it's a bass. Yeah. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the one. power pole down. Put the power pole down. There we go, Mike. And Boy, they pull yeah. out here. And he's not <laughs> a even little bit. I know he's small. Now you know that was funny. What Mike said, he was jerking that bait along, and he said, "I missed one," and he kept going. He said, I missed one, and then, you know, he kept going, and then finally he loaded up on it. You, you just know, kept kept working on it. Huh? That's the thing, and you, you always wonder, is that the same fish that keeps coming back to that bait, or is there like 10 of them chasing it? You know, and when they're out here in schools, I think that's the big thing, is there's a whole bunch of them, and you know what's crazy is you can find a school of these little bitty ones. And I want to find one. a school of them big ones. Well, that's right. And that's what happens out here. You know, it's in these tournaments this time of year, Guys are consistently catching five fish that'll weigh 30 pounds. Yeah. That's that's five, six to seven, five to seven pound bass. And it happens every single weekend somebody's catching bass like that. That's the ones I want to catch. You first, get one? Yeah. Big one? Yeah. Better. Yeah. Yeah, son. Oh, I don't know how big he is. Oh! He was about seven or maybe yeah. 10, maybe 12 pounds. Uh, Those no see folks are monstrous. <laughs> They're just absolutely huge. Somewhere between 10 and 12 pounds. Exactly, maybe. exactly. <laughs> oh, there you go, son, I got him, I got him. Oh, 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 oh look, 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 I got him, 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 I got him. That's the best one we've seen all day. <laughs> Son. <laughs> you gonna swing him or you gonna get him? <laughs> no, 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 I'll just swing him in. He's too big for that. <laughs> I don't want all them hooks in my hand. I know. It's all yours. Huh? All yours. <laughs> you okay. See the way that Ooh. you come after that bait. 
<laughs> oh, heavens. That was a, you know, I was racing that thing in and he was hitting it. And you were racing yours in and he hit it. So that's something to be said about racing, racing them in. Uh-huh. Hey, that's, that's a decent bass. Okay. Let's get that one going. But the other thing to say about this school of fish right here, this school of fish is right by the edge of this deep water. Now that could be something because maybe, you know, traditionally these guys that win the tournaments catch them on the edge of this deep water. Yeah, there's no you know, doubt about so, it. So, oh, I just had one. I just had one to hit it. So it's just as easy as being five pounders as they were two pounders. There, there you go. Big one? Is it a big one? Yeah. Ooh. Hey, it looks like a good one. I think you got a big one on, huh? Was that another one come up behind it? That was a big one. Like stick strikes again. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice, that's a nice big fat one. That's a nice, that's a nice bass. That's a good bass. We're getting some quality fish It'll here, be boys. All the way around the boat, I know. Yeah, I know. That is good. Now, how were you retrieving that one? I was fishing it really fast. Really fast? I killed it, though. I mean, I was jerking it really hard, but I killed it for just a second. And he just about took the rod away from me. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, that's a nice four pounder. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Now, you're in tournament quality fish yeah, now. Now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's what we came to. Over that's right what the deal is right here, boys. Those and bigger. Yeah. Those that's and the deal. Bigger. Need them fires yeah. yeah. That guy yeah. with Katsu hooks all over him. Yeah. Now we're talking. Good. Now I know there's some big ones around. There's a whole big school of them here somewhere. <laughs> now, what I'm using today is a. Uh, a new Liberty Reel by U.S. Reels, and it's just really a fine situation. It has the wave bar, and what the wave bar does, I'm going to make a cast back this way. What the wave bar does is, well, as you reel it, see how it, it oscillates back and forth, and it, it's a level wind, but there's less friction on this wave bar than there is on a regular level wind. So what it enables you to do is, with less friction, of course, it enables you to get a nice long cast. There he is. Just another Okeechobee. How are you working that one? I reel it real hard, yeah. and killed it, and then hit it one time real hard, and he just smoked it. He just reel it fast, and then killed it, kill it. and then he just absolutely oh. tanked it. <laughs> huh. Oh, there's one. I did the same thing you did. That's the same exact thing. I'll work that. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I've got one on. There's two one on the other side of the boat. And there's some big ones around. They're not right here, but there are some big ones here. Let's go back for more. So you reeled it out. That's what I did. I did exactly what you said. Fishing with Roland Martin is brought to you by Gary Yamamoto Custom Bait. Designed by fishermen for fishermen. Nitra Boats presents this segment of Fishing with Roland Martin. I just had one. I just had one to hit it. So, so we're, we're dealing with the school of fish right now on the edge of this big, deep hole. It's not a big, deep hole. Water here is about four, three or four foot deep, and it's relative. like eight feet deep out there. But it's like four feet deeper out there, and it's like a hundred acre area of eight, nine foot water. But and, it kills uh, me when you talk about deep water here. I mean, up where I live in Throw Jerk Bay, I mean, a deep water hole's... 60, 70 foot deep. And I mean, this is the deepest water there is in this whole lake, isn't it? No, but it's the deepest water for about a couple miles. Hey, way to go, Mud. That's hey. a better fish. Better one. But they're like just suspended up over this deep hole. Yeah. Not a giant by any measures, but it's better than those little bitty ones. That cloud cover, a little bit of cloud cover came over, yeah. and that, that helped a lot. That's a decent one. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a tournament fish. Yeah, on a tournament day, you wouldn't mind putting in a live well to start today. Look at that. He ate that thing head first. That's the way you want him to eat it. Head first. Roland, I actually changed my front hook out. Okay. 
with a 2x strong Gamagatsu number four, uh -huh. just because if you catch a big one and he gets it by that front hook, you don't have to worry about him bending it out. I see. Mike is great with colors and he's great with just designing everything. And, uh, he's been working with Spro Corporation for five or six years now and he's developed a whole line of big stick baits that have been out for quite a while. But now here, here's the rest of the prototypes. These are actually prototypes, right? They're not on the Yeah, market. these really are. I mean, you're, you're looking at the very original baits. Now, these are the closest ones okay. to the mold actually being done. Okay. But you have uh, chrome shad, clear chartreuse. That's, that's the chrome. That's chrome shad there. You clear have okay. clear chartreuse, spooky shad. And then, of course, it'll have to come in a blue bandit. You're oh, going to yeah, have cellmate. That is such a good one. Yeah, blue now bandit. that's blue bandit's the color we caught them on at uh, Lanier, but it was is the 110. That is my favorite color. That's my favorite color, too. Now, that blue bandit's also in the standard. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, you're going to have Old Glory, which oh, yeah. is a phenomenal that, bait that when you want a lot of flash. That is really good. Really good. Anyway, we got a lot of. Lot cellmate. Of that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's and then Norman Flake. Okay, that's it. Boy, some nice looking colors. Well, that's going to be a successful plug. I can see that. There's oh, no there's some doubt. Right now, right now, let me leave these out there. There's no. You know what? Yep. Good one. Feels better, but you know how it is. These are biting that funny though. Look how they're getting the bait. Ooh. How big is it? That's a decent fish. Big old school of fish. Maybe we got something going here, son. Oh, there they are. They're breaking right there. Huh? That's a nice a little fish. better. Yeah, there's a whole school of them here. Is that where we saw this that good is the one way come to up catch earlier them. too? Whole school right on the edge of the hole. He had it good too. When it comes to schoolies, it's a big one though, or a big one, you know. I'm, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try. I'll tell you straight up, this new 115 is gonna be the way to go when you start talking shallower water. See that? I loaded up as fast as I could go. I just went as fast as I could go. Hey, is this bad? This is the way I like it. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way I like it. How's that song go? <laughs> I'm not a singer, so. <laughs> oh, heaven. Uh oh. You know there's some big ones in there with these. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try ripping it really fast and see what happens. Because we're on a spot right here. If we can just get this, I'm gonna just throw it out there and just zoom it back. And I'm gonna hit it out of reflex action or something or other. You know what I'm gonna try though, Mike, while we're here, there's a brand new lure that uh, I, see, Mike and I both work for Spro Tackle. So they had Mike develop these jerk baits, McSticks, and they had me develop some other lures. Now this is another lure that I helped with, and that's called the Aruka Shad. And this is the new size. This is the new intermediate size. That's a, a half ounce, a true half ounce. The other was 5 8 I'm gonna try that. And I used to tell people here on the lake, any color will work as long as it's chrome with a blue back. You better throw right okay, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. First cast, the new plug. Now that's the whole thing is cadence. I don't care if you're throwing a Ruku shad or if you're throwing a stick bait. I mean, it's all about cadence, in my opinion, that really makes the difference. I mean, you got to figure out how they want it that particular day. You know, we... Oh, there's one loaded up on I did a fast retrieve. Oh, a little better fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep good. thinking I'm going to catch a big one behind you. I don't see him at all, but yet there's some fish here. Better fish. Okay. Yeah, they're not, they're not much, but I tell you, school and activity, they're just a lot of fun to catch these two and three pound fish like this. Okay, now what I did then, I was high on the, in the water column. I was just right underneath the, the surface of the water. You know, Mike, here on this lake, it's either feast or famine. You know, right now, we're just catching those little bitty bass, but there are schools of big five to 10 pound fish on this lake, and if we find them, we could have 25 or 30 pounds. 
when somebody comes in with five that weigh 38 pounds, I mean, that's catching them. There's no doubt about it. So that's why I was excited. There's one right there. That feels like a little better one. 